Hey yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Cosme and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do a falling object animation and we're also going to do a flotating one just like this one. Alright, so really quick to give you an input as to what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a plane, give it a quick uh, uh, material, it doesn't matter really. Um, and then we're gonna take an object, whether it's a, my, a logo, a text, or any object, a default object from uh, Blender, and we're gonna make it so that it drops from top, and it's gonna hit the, the ground or floor, and it's just gonna bounce a couple times, pretty quick, easy use, using uh, rigid bodies. Um, and then the second one would be, we're gonna go ahead and at the same object, we're gonna have it floating um, above the, the, the ground. That's pretty cool and easy, just like on the animations I showed you. All right, so here in Blender, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of our defaults. Really quick, you're gonna go ahead and add your object. So again, you can just shift A, add a match object, whether it's a, a sphere, um, a, a cone, a cylinder, even the monkey. Um, but for my uh, case over here, I'm gonna go ahead and import um, a logo. Uh, so SVG, I'm gonna go ahead and search for my uh, logo, cast logo, because if we don't use my logo, I don't think it'll be a cast tutorial. So we're gonna go ahead and double click on this and we have our logo here. First thing I like to do is I like to uh, merge the separate um, objects together by Control J. And now we have one specific uh, logo. So right click to uh, let it sit back on its position. And uh, next thing I like to do is RX90 to um, uh, bring it up like that. We're gonna go ahead and click one on number pad and we're gonna center this. Um, right in the center uh, next thing I like to do is while selecting the whole logo right click and we're gonna set origin to geometry so that um This uh, little yellow dot instead of being over here in this corner It'll be right in the center of the um, object So once you have this second thing you want to do is you want to select the logo go to object data properties bring down the uh, geometry uh, tab and uh, we're gonna extrude it a little bit uh, somewhere I think this is this is too much bring it back down a bit like that I think this works um, once you have this next thing you want to do is right click we're gonna convert this to a mesh and um, once you have this you want to go ahead and bring this up like so I say somewhere around there should be fine um, we're gonna go ahead and shift a add a plane really quick um, just like that also works and uh, next thing you want to do is we're gonna go ahead and click on our logo and we're gonna go to the uh, physics properties and we're gonna rigid body this and uh, we're gonna leave it just as it is um, next thing you want to do is do the same thing for the plane but um, instead of leaving it at active type we're gonna do passive and what that's gonna do is the floor is just not gonna do anything but when we click that space bar the logo or the object is gonna fall on the on the ground just like that so um, if you want if you're wondering what would happen if we didn't have this plane uh, added if we didn't have the rigid body added to uh, this plane this is what would happen basically so the logo would just fall into um, space just like that so that's why you need a plane or some type of uh, surface and we gotta add that rigid body and from type we gotta put instead of active passive and if you go back into that timeline and click that space bar to play the animation It'll fall just like that, but of course, I don't want it just to fall like that and wiggle. I actually want it to fall and bounce a couple times. So again, position position of the logo really counts. Um, it really acts like real life, real time uh, animation. So if you actually drop an object just like that with a flat surface like this one, it'll it'll do that. But if we go ahead and bring this back down to zero and we uh, rotate this on the y axis a bit and um on the on the white on and on the x-axis and we have something like this if we hit play then you'll get something cool like that and this is what i'm looking for so now again this is pretty much already done we have the animation going um it'll play just like that so basically it lasts about i would say like 50 50 frames so you could end the animation on 50 frames and you could pretty much use this so now if you're wondering all right so how am i supposed to use this well 
this could be if you have a full animation with different things going on and you want to show your object falling you could add this animation to a complete video that actually shows some type of either story or something like that and that's one thing that a lot of people don't really point out this animation is just one bit of a clip that could be used for a full video animation if that makes any sense but anyways the, the only the only things i did after that was pretty much just um we added a material to the plane it was a regular white material with a high metallic set the metallic at one and the uh, roughness i set it up at 0.1 and um let's just go to render view so we see what we're doing uh also from ev i went into cycles of course turn on your gpu compute um and then i just added pretty much a an uh, hdri and for that all you got to do is go to google search up free hdris you'll find a website just download any hdri you like and um, test them out of course so and then to bring that on bring that into uh, blender all you got to do is click this yellow dot environment texture open and you want to search up on your downloads uh and uh, over here i have hdri just like this bring this one in the second thing i did was while on render i went to film and uh transparent so check that in and you have a transparent background like this you don't you don't necessarily have to do that but select on your plane shift d to duplicate it right click to let it sit back on place rx 90 to rotate it like so gy to grab it and move it on the y axis like that scale it up a bit more um other thing you want to do is shift d again this one right click to let it sit back on position rz uh no not like that r set 90 grab on the x axis bring it back like so somewhere around there and we're gonna go ahead and add a camera now again i don't necessarily have to show you how to do this but because it's not the main purpose of the um video but i've been asked to actually show the animations and the render exactly how i get them and put them together so once you are into the camera view you want to go ahead and click n to open up this tab over here go to view camera to view zoom out a bit maybe somewhere around i would say there and uh now again make sure that your your plane is actually actually has the the material so i actually added the material to the uh, logo and not the plane uh but let's do that one more time go to this metallic uh material and on my logo instead of having a metallic material we're gonna go ahead and x out of that click new to select the new material um basically what i did was on color i went into uh probably like a like an orange red and um, on the emission, uh, I went from black to white, and then I put like a nice little orangey red. And the emission strength, I bring that up to two, and you'll get something like this. And so if you go back to frame one, it'll fall pretty cool, just like that. Maybe zoom in a bit more. Another cool thing I did, so to have the uh, the camera follow uh, follow the logo or the um, object, pretty much just select on the camera up here, go to the uh, camera uh, the camera properties. Um, you're gonna go ahead, uh, add depth of field, click on your logo over here, go to the um, object constraint properties. We're gonna add a track two with the eyedropper, select the object or logo. And so basically when you go back to frame one and click that space bar, it'll follow the logo just like that. And I think it's pretty cool and easy to do. Um, now, uh, basically this is all I did for this one. If you wanna learn how to do the floating one, all you gotta do is with this same animation right here, this same composition, over here we're gonna go ahead and add a new scene and we're gonna do a full copy only thing we're gonna do different is go out of our camera view you're gonna go ahead and remove the uh, rigid body uh, we don't we don't need that for this one so X out of that and do the same thing for the logo X out of it and um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring and we're gonna we're gonna try to make the logo sit straight flat how it was at the beginning so maybe RX something like that RY something like this go into the side view rz bring it so it's just like that r um x and bring it forward and so we'll have the logo sitting back again just straight how it's um supposed to be r y and make it a bit straight just like that so once you have this gz to bring it down i would say somewhere around there close to the ground but not too close and once you do this pretty much all you got to do guys is i to inset the uh, location and um once you have this you want to go into graph editor down here let's bring this up a bit and uh remember set up set the uh, animation for or a frame for the uh location bring down the object transform 
and go to Z or Z location. That's basically the set, the the Z action uh, axis. So it's gonna it's gonna move this way, up and down. Uh, and we want it to flotate. And to make it flotate, you gotta get that you know cool animation type of look, um, motion. So once you have that, pretty much you have the Z uh, selected. Um, you're gonna have these tab down here. If it's not there, all you gotta do is it might be in a little arrow. Just click and drag it. Uh, go to modifiers, add a modifier. We're gonna add a noise modifier. Uh, strength, bring it up. Well, let me show you what that looks like if we don't bring the strength up. So you'll get something like this. Not cool, not nice at all. So we're gonna bring up the scale somewhere around there. The uh, strength, we're gonna bring it down a bit uh, by holding shift somewhere around there. And so if we hit play, you'll have something like this. I think it's very, it, I think it's too much. So we're gonna scale this up even more. Bring the strength down by holding shift. I would say somewhere around there should be cool. Let's hit play and let's see what we got going on here. So you'll, you'll have something like this pretty much just hovering um, over the ground. Uh, and I think I think it's pretty it's pretty cool, subtle, not too much. Um, and I think honestly this this works for me. Um, again, you can keep playing with this and get better results. Um, so now that we have this, all you want to do is now make the logo spin. Super easy and simple to do. Let's go back into um, timeline, and on timeline you want to go to the very first frame, and uh, you want to go to the object properties. What you want to do is whilst having your logo or your object selected since you see we have different um items or numbers already on the input what you want to do is control a and add the uh, rotation so apply to the uh, rotation and it's going to all go back to zero now that you have this all you want to do is select an uh, uh a frame a keyframe in there so it's going to be at zero go up to i would say maybe somewhere around a hundred and you want to go ahead and type in 360 degree so it's going to do 360 so basically just one full circle uh insert the frame and uh, once you have this if you if you go back and put this at 100 and you click play it's just going to do this right here so it's going to spin and then it's just going to keep doing it in a loop and i think it's pretty cool easy and simple to do so yeah this is pretty much it um very easy simple i just showed you how to make the logo fall into the ground um, and balance uh, a couple times and um, I showed you how to have a logo spinning in a 360 loop while also hovering above the ground which is a pretty cool animation uh, pretty much for anything so this is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure to drop a like down below comment what you want to see next subscribe if you're new to the channel smash that like button down below again uh, turn on the bell notification button for future content and um, I'm out guys Peace.